वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द रेजोनेंस स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द कार्बोनेट आयन माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द फार्मूला ऑफ कार्बोनेट आयन इज CO3 माइनस टू इट इज अ पोली ऑटोमिक एन आइन नो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द कार्बन बिलोंग्स टू ग्रुप फोर ए and oxygen belongs to group 6a and you know that the group number is actually the number of valence electrons so the carbon atom must have four valence electrons while the oxygen should have six valence electrons what should be the total number of valence electrons in carbonate ion total number of valence electrons there is one carbon atom which has four valence electrons there are three oxygen atoms and each oxygen has six valence electrons and this minus 2 charge shows extra two electrons present in that uh, structure so there are two electrons present due to this minus 2 charge and it becomes 4 plus 18 Plus two, and that will be twenty-four valence electrons. So carbonate ion has twenty-four valence electrons. Now we will draw its Lewis structure in which these twenty-four valence electrons should be distributed between carbon and oxygen atoms. Dear students, suppose first we consider that carbon and oxygen atoms are connected through uh, single bonds. Now let us complete the octet of these terminal oxygen atoms first. This oxygen has two bond pair of the electrons with carbon, and to complete its octet, it must have three lone pair of electrons. So total, it will be having then eight electrons in its valence cell. Similarly, the same will be the case with all oxygen atoms: two bond pair and three lone pair. Two. Electrons in the bond pair and six electrons in the three lone pair. In this way, the octet of all the terminal oxygen is completed. Now let us look into the uh, this carbon atom. It has two, four, and six electrons in its valence cell. So this carbon, in this form, it will be having six electrons in its valence cell in the form of the three bond pairs. So its octet is not completed. it will be having incomplete octet it means that to in order to complete the octet of the carbon atoms these oxygen atoms will have to share their lone pair with this carbon and now suppose that if this oxygen shares one lone pair with this carbon then what will be the form of this structure it will be c double bond o and these oxygen will be through single bond as this oxygen has shared one lone pair with the carbon so that single bond is changed to double bond and now this oxygen will be having two lone pair of the electrons and these oxygens they will be having three lone pair of electrons like this and my dear student when the oxygen atom has formed less than two bonds it carries negative charge so formal charge on this oxygen will be minus and similarly the formal charge on this oxygen that will be also minus and the overall charge minus 1 and minus 1 that should be minus 2 so instead of writing the formal charges on the oxygen you know that the polyatomic ions are written in the form in which a square bracket is placed and overall charge is written on that polyatomic ion so that will be the first structure of this uh carbonate in which the octet of all the atoms that will be completed but my dear students it can happen that the lone pair is not shared by this oxygen atom rather this oxygen shares the lone pair of the electrons the this one is the second possibility it means now the structure should be c single bond o double bond o and single bond o these oxygens they will be having three lone pair of electrons 
it will be having two lone pair of electrons and again the formal charge on this oxygen will be minus one and on this oxygen minus one but overall there will be minus two charge and in last case there is a third oxygen it is quite possible that the lone pair is not shared by any of these two oxygen atoms rather this oxygen shares the lone pair of the electrons then what will happen then c single bond o double bond o and single bond o it will be having three lone pair of electrons and it will be having two lone pair of electrons and again the formal charge on both these oxygen minus one minus one and the overall charge will be minus two now my dear students these are the three structures as these structures have equal number of atoms the position of atoms that is also same the total number of electrons in all these three structures that is also same but the bonding arrangement is different due to the shifting of the uh, lone pair of the electrons such kind of structures in which atoms number of atoms are equal total number of electrons they are also equal the position of all the nuclei is same and but the bonding arrangement due to the shifting of the lone pairs that is different they are called as the resonance structures so carbonate ion has basically uh, my dear students it has three resonating structures carbonate ion has uh, three resonance structures and this double headed arrow this one is the symbol of resonance and keep in mind that resonance structures they do not have any actual existence it is not like the carbonate ion exists in this form for some time then it is shifted into this form and for some other time duration it is present in this form and then this form is transferred to the third form and then for some fraction of time it will be present in its uh, form of the third structure it is not like that the resonance structures they do not have actual existence and uh, the substance never exists for any fraction of time in form of any of these three structures these are just the proposed hypothetical structures of the carbonate ion and there is no dynamic equilibrium between them as there is no actual existence of these uh, resonance structures so my dear students out of these resonance structures we can conclude that in carbonate ion there are two types of the bond lengths carbon double bond oxygen and carbon single bond oxygen so all the bond lengths of the carbonate ion they should not be equal this should be the shorter bond these two should be the longer bond in this form in this form this should be shorter these two should be longer bonds and here this should be shorter and these two should be the longer bonds so as carbon double bond oxygen and carbon single bond oxygen are present the bond lengths in carbonate ion that should not be equal but my dear students when we uh, study the carbonate ion experimentally and we calculate the bond lengths of the carbon oxygen bonds we find that all carbon oxygen bond lengths in carbonate ion are equal the experiment says that all carbon oxygen bond lengths are equal but the proposed structures say that the carbonate has a mixture of shorter and longer bond lengths it means these proposed structures they are not matching with the uh, actual data of the bond length of the carbonate ion so in order to explain the bond length of carbonate ion we draw the resonance hybrid structure and my dear students in resonance hybrid structure this one is the resonance hybrid structure the bond order of all the bonds should be same the solid line shows single bond and this dotted line shows half bond so the bond order of all bonds that will be 1.5 as the bond order in all bonds that will be same so the bond length will also be same and this structure is called as the resonance hybrid 
of mean mix mixture of all these three resonance structures and my dear students this is a resonance hybrid which is always present at low energy level as compared to its resonance structures so that's why the resonance hybrid structure is always more stable as compared to its resonating structures and greater the number of resonance structures more is the stability of that compound so this was all about the resonance structures of the carbonate ion in case you find any problem please ask the question in the comment section take care